With a career spanning over four decades, Tom Hanks is easily one of the greatest actors of all time, not to mention his successful career as a producer and director as well. However, even the most successful actors have their flops, and sometimes a flop can be so harsh it can tarnish an otherwise great career. Join Facts First as we discuss if Tom Hanks destroyed his career with his Elvis biopic. Tom Hanks is one of the most beloved and respected actors of our time, with a career that spans four decades and one great performance after the next. But how exactly did he become the star we love? He was born July 9, 1956 in Concord, California. His father Amos was a cook and his mother Janet worked in a hospital. He and his siblings had a simple upbringing and though they were in California, the glamour of Hollywood seemed to be as distant as one could imagine. Hanks' parents divorced when he was just five and he and his siblings lived with their father for much of their childhood. As you can expect, this was a traumatic incident for Hanks and he often retreated into himself. However, as he entered his teens, he found something in school that saved his life. He participated in school plays and fell in love with acting. He moved to New York City in 1978 and began auditioning for roles. He struggled at first, taking odd jobs to make ends meet while attending auditions. His perseverance paid off when he landed a leading role in the TV show Bosom Buddies in 1980. The show, which followed two men who dress as women to live in an all-female apartment complex, was a hit with audiences and helped launch his career. His success on Bosom Buddies led to more roles in film and TV. His major breakthrough in film was his role in the 1984 comedy Splash. He also gained popularity for his role in the film Dragnet, which was based on the original TV series. But it was his performance as Josh in the 1988 film Big that really made him a star, and since then he hasn't looked back. Over the years, Hanks has continued to deliver memorable performances in films like Forrest Gump, Apollo 13, Saving Private Ryan, and Castaway. He's won two Academy Awards for Best Actor for Philadelphia and Forrest Gump, and he's been nominated for numerous other awards. He's also produced a few successful films which have also been hits. Tom Hanks destroys his career with Elvis biopic? As you've seen, Tom has had quite a successful rise to the top. But even in a career with so many hits, there are bound to be a few flops. But none of his flops have matched the failure that is Elvis, the movie, not the king himself, of course. Elvis has been met with mixed reviews, and Hanks' performance in the film has received a lot of criticism, and he won his first Razzie Award for his terrible acting. Elvis stars Austin Butler as the iconic singer and actor. Tom Hanks plays Colonel Tom Parker, who was an entertainer in his own right, but was probably best known as Elvis's longtime manager. Many critics have taken issue with the characterization of Colonel Parker and Hanks' portrayal of him. The main criticism is that Hanks didn't humanize the character and that the character was a caricature and even offensive to the memory of the man. These criticisms raise the question of what went wrong with Tom Hanks' portrayal of Colonel Parker and whether or not it was a failure on his part. One possible explanation for Hanks' performance is that the character is notoriously difficult to portray on screen. Parker was a complex figure and he's been the subject of much debate and speculation over the years. It's possible Hanks struggled to capture the nuances of the character. Of course, this isn't the first time that Tom Hanks has played a real-life character. But let's compare this role to two other famous real-life characters whom he played. One was Captain Richard Phillips in the film Captain Phillips and another was Walt Disney in Saving Mr. Banks. In both films, the characters are portrayed as heroes, and the nuances of their life aren't necessary for the story. However, a biopic about Elvis Presley requires nuance from all characters. The lack of nuance and poor performance of Colonel Parker has been a stain on Tom Hanks' otherwise great acting career. Tom Hanks Speaks Out so, what does Tom Hanks think about his failure to play Colonel Parker and the fact that it was so bad he was quote-unquote honored by a Razzie Award? He recently spoke out about the controversy surrounding his latest film, Elvis, in a few recent interviews. In these interviews, he acknowledged the criticisms of his own performance and he even said, quote, what have I done? He went on to explain that he took on the role of Colonel Tom Parker because he was intrigued by the character, the story about Elvis Presley and the opportunity to work with director Baz Luhrmann. Nevertheless, he's had difficulty coming to terms with the film's failure 
and his poor performance in it. He stated that he's made bad films before and moved on from them. However, this was particularly painful since he looked forward to the film and thought it would be a huge hit. He stated he was disappointed with how it came out and that he wasn't able to give it his best effort. His willingness to admit the film's faults and his own performance has won him praise. In many cases, stars will blame the audience or critics if a film or character isn't received well, but Tom has taken full accountability for the flop. Elvis is likely to be a tiny blip in Tom Hanks' career, though some believe it might be so bad that it will destroy his career, particularly now that he's getting on in years. But one can't deny that Tom Hanks is willing to take risks with his roles even today. So perhaps we still haven't even seen his best work yet. Hits and Flops Tom has had a career of mostly hits with a flop here and there. Let's have a look back at one of his other major flops and some of the few hits he's had. One of his films is considered to be one of the worst rated movies of all time. This film is The Bonfire of the Vanities, a 1990 adaptation of Tom Wolfe's best-selling novel. It was directed by the talented Brian De Palma, and in addition to Tom Hanks, it had other great actors including Melanie Griffith and Bruce Willis. The film earned a mere $16 million at the box office and was panned by critics and audiences alike. In fact, one must remember that this was still a relatively early stage in Tom Hanks' career, and he had just become a star off the success of the film Big. So after an immediate rise to the top, he had such an awful flop. Not only that, his character and performance in the film received severe criticism. He looked back on his performance and also acknowledged that he had done a bad job and stated he didn't like working on the film. Yet, despite the utter failure of the film, his career didn't come to an end. In fact, it was only a few years later that he'd appear in Forrest Gump, which remains one of the roles he's most known for. In the 1990s and 2000s, he appeared in so many other great films, like Apollo 13, The Green Mile, Saving Private Ryan, Philadelphia, Castaway, and The Da Vinci Code. The 2010s and 2020s also look promising for him. Despite the failure of Elvis, one can't dismiss the success of A Man Called Otto. While Bonfire of the Vanities may be a stain on Hanks' filmography, it's also a reminder that even the most talented actors have their failures. Nevertheless, what makes Tom Hanks different is that he can learn from his mistakes and make better films and give better performances. So did he destroy his career with Elvis' biopic? Maybe, but probably not. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you a fan of Tom Hanks? What do you think about his latest blunder with the Elvis biopic? Do you think one major flop can hurt an actor's career even with so many successes? And what's your favorite Tom Hanks movie? Let us know in the comments section below.